So let's discuss about the problem C, which is messenger in Mac. Okay. So the problem C is that basically they are saying you that there are some N messages given to you, right? And each message is having two integers, right? Which is A and B, right? So the, the question says that you basically have N messages and each message has two value. What? Each message has two integers A and B. Amazing. Now what they are asking you is, they are asking you to select a set of messages with numbers this. So basically they are asking you to select some set of messages and the, the time is spent to read that messages is this. Okay. Now they are giving you a L, time L. And it is asking you that in that time L, what is the maximum number of messages that one can read? Right. That is what the problem is. Now, first of all, let's see how we can find the time spent by a message because this is a very, you know, complex formula it seems to be. Formula is very easy. The basic thing is, for example, that we have five messages. Right. Let's say A1, B1, A2, B2, A3, B3, A4. B, A5, B5, right? So we have these five messages here. Now what we can do here is that they are asking us our uh, time will be, our time will be summation from 1 to K of AI plus summation of 1 to K minus 1 for BI minus BI plus 1. Basically what we have to do is for all the messages that we are considering, we have to add their A's and add their difference in B's of two consecutive messages. That will be the total time taken to read all the messages. And this was the complex part why this problem was complex. Right. So for example, let's say, for example, let's say the messages are like this. Let's say the first message is, so we have value A, we have value B. Let's say for first message, the value A is 5, 2, and value of B's are 5, 2, 3. Okay. So there are some 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 6 messages. Right. So there, uh, there was 6 messages. Now what we can do is, now what we can do is here, T, let's say we choose 4 messages. Let's say we choose this, 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 and this. For example, so let's see first of all how we can find the time spent to read these messages. So if we are choosing these, right, 5, 2, then 2, 5, then 8, 1, then 6, 3. Okay, where this is A and this is B, right. So first of all, the very first thing that you will do is, the very first thing that you will do is that you will uh, add all these A's. Because if you are reading these messages, this A will always be there. So you will add the value of A. Some will be, yeah. Some will be, first of all, your time will be 6 plus 2, 7. 7 plus 8, 15. 15 plus 6, 21. 21 will be there. Now the second thing will be, the second thing will be summation of difference between every two pairs. So 2 minus 5 will be 3. So we have to take mod. It's 4. It's 2. Overall it will be also 9. 21 plus 9 is the 30. So 30 is the total time taken or spent basically to read all these messages. But guys, if you will see these messages can be read in a better way. How? If you will sort these messages in ascending order according to the value of B or in any order, ascending or descending. For example, like this. 8, 1, 5, 2, 6, 2, 5. Right. So as we know, we can like uh, assign the ordering of messages in any order. So this ordering that they are giving us P1, P2 up to PK, that can be in any order. So in this case, you will see your this sum will be same. This will be 21 only. This will be 21 only. But, but if you will see this, here difference will be 1, here it will be 1, here it will be 2. Total difference will be 4 only. So this is how we can minimize the value of this thing, which was this we can minimize by sorting them in the ascending or descending order with the value of B. Basically sorting them with, with reference to the B. Right. That is what we can do. And what will be the value? If you will see the overall value will be the difference between the value of B for the first and value of B for the last. 
there is no need to find difference for each pair no no need to find just, just simply subtract just simply subtract the maximum value of b which is 5 with minimum value of b which is 1 and that is the basic value that we can get out of here right i hope you got it but now the thing is that you have to find that for how, like uh, what can be the maximum messages maximum messages that we can read such that the overall time is less than equal to l ya main nikalna main nikalna hai kitne hum log maximum message read kar sakte hain ye total jo time hai l se kam ya equal ho theek aur hame pata hai ki agar hum ye message read kar rahe hain to hame itna time lag raha hai that we are able to find so see guys how we can find it let's take the same example in a so i will i'm erasing this all to explain okay right see guys what we can do actually so what we can actually do is we will first see ki okay let's say i took the value i let's say i took i here now i will took a j let's say i took a j here so why i am doing i am taking this i and j basically when i am taking this i and j this simply signifies that i will consider the messages from i to j only and this i will check for every i and j so for every i and every j i will consider the sub array of this particular array let's say i am saying that i am considering these messages right okay so when i am considering these messages one thing is sure that i will take all these a's that i can count so i will take the sum of all these a's right let's say sum will be 2 plus 8 it will be 12 it will take this sum and plus the second thing was okay sorry one thing i did a mistake this one thing before doing this we will do is that you will first of all sort all the elements on the basis of b you will sort it on the basis of b why because we know that the value b that we get which is the sum of the difference between two adjacent that will be equal to the difference between the maximum and minimum value of b in that particular set right so if we sort it it will be like 8 1 will come first then it can be i think 5 2 basically 1 2 maybe 1 2 5 2 is it actually doesn't matter what matters is the value of b right 5 1 8 8 that's that will be the value after sorting with reference to b so we are sorting a pair uh, a vector of pairs with reference to the second uh, second key that if you don't know i will tell okay how to sort it so this is the thing okay now what we can do is e uh yeah let's say i taken i here and j here so we know that the sum will be if we are taking from i to j the sum will be 5 plus 1 plus 6 plus 2 so it will be 6 plus 6 plus 2 14 plus this is the thing of summation of ai but for summation of bi minus bj as we know if you will find the difference of this difference of this plus difference of this it will be ultimately difference of 2 minus 5 which is 3 right that is why we have sorted it so we got 3 the so total sum is 70 total sum is 70 but let's say let's say that r l is 12 means we want a set with some less than 12 so if we want a sum less than 12 what we can do what we will try is because we have taken these corner elements we have taken it we assume that we have taken it so we will try to remove the middle elements so actually when we will remove the middle elements middle messages it will not or maybe we can remove this also okay but the basic uh, uh, you know the basic agenda is that when we are removing messages it will not probably affect this difference value this will remain 2 minus 5 only So, for example, if I if I remove this, this value still remains two minus five. Only six will be subtracted from the sum. Right now, for example, here the sum is seventeen. The sum is seventeen, and we want twelve. Like we want twelve. So tell me one thing: which value? And this is the current set that we are considering. So tell me which value we should we should remove first. Which message from this set we should remove first? obviously we should remove the message first which has the higher value of a because if we will remove it that value of a will be subtracted now in this set which message has the higher value of a yes this one this one is a higher value of a what we can do 
will simply remove it. Remove means you will subtract its value from sum. Now sum is 11. Now sum is 11. Right? It's still, let's say, so now sum is 11. We want 12. It's good. It's good. And okay. These three can give you sum 11, which is less than 12. Three can be the answer. But let's say that n is more lesser. Let's say n is now this time equal to 12. Oh, sorry, 10. Again, we have to subtract something. So now what we will subtract? Now you will try to subtract 5, the next greater one. Okay. So this is how what you will, this is how what will happen is, what will happen is that you will first try to remove a value in that particular i to j between that, which is having a higher value of, you know, uh, a. And how you will find that which has the higher value? For that, we will use a priority queue. There is a priority queue that is used in this particular question. Okay. So the logic was a little bit complex. Let me explain you with, with my code. Then you will understand more clearly. That is, this is what I did. So if you will see here, if you will see here. First, I have taken the value of n and l. Then the vector of pairs. Then I have taken the input of the vector. After that, I am sorting the vector based on the second value. So this sort is actually a function. A boolean function that I have already defined here, you can see. This is basically used to sort pair on the basis of its second value in ascending order. So sort A is ascending, sort B is descending. So I have already defined it. So this will sort my vector of pair in according to the second value, the ascending order. Just like what we did from here to here. Okay. Now as I told you, we will take i and j. So for every i and j, for example, we have taken i here and j here. So for every i and j, what I will do, I will first take a priority queue. And for all the values from i to j, I will first push it inside the priority queue. One by one. So that the maximum value should be at the top. So whenever there is a need of removing the value, we will remove the top value. Right. Now we will also add the first value, which is the value of a to our sum. So what we are doing? In our sum, what we do? In our sum, we add all the values of a first. Right. So we are adding all the values of a in the sum, you can see. And in the sum, one more thing should be added. What one more thing should be added? That thing should be the difference between the second value of j and second value of i, which is this. So that is also we are adding here. bj second, bi second. Right? That is also we are adding here. Cool. And now, if this value is greater than L, because this whole value should be less than equal to L. But if it is greater than L, that means we have to remove something from the sum. We have to remove something from the sum. What we will remove? We will remove the value which is the highest one. For example, 6 here. Where it is present? It is present at the top of the priority queue. So I will subtract the value from the priority queue top. Then I will also pop an element from the priority queue. Right? And this will do until, until we have our sum le less than equal to L. Until the sum is greater than L, we are removing it. Once it became less than equal to L, this while loop will stop or maybe priority queue becomes empty. And finally, after that, whatever elements are present in the priority queue, the size of that can be our answer because that is our set. The size of that element will be the size of our set. And we can take maximum of all those set size. So guys, I can understand this was a little bit of, you know, not little bit, it was a really tough question. Even our today's contest was even uh, tougher. Okay. So I can understand if you have any doubt, you can ask that to me in the comment section, right? And you can also, uh, you know, uh, join Telegram channel and you can ask your doubt there. Thank you. I hope that you've got this particular video. Please come and helpful. Like the video. Thank you.